If you're aiming for that grade nine at GCSE level, stop what you're doing right now. I'm about to tell you the one secret that makes the difference between a grade seven and a grade nine. And no, 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 it's not just revising harder. It's not making pretty notes. And it's definitely not just understanding the subject. I use this exact method to get a grade nine in maths, further maths, and all higher tier subjects. And if you start doing this, I promise your grades will skyrocket. And I've taught this to my students. It works every single time. So if you want to stop wasting your time and finally get that grade nine, keep watching because I'm going to tell you how. So what's the secret? It's past papers. Now, now wait, 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 trust me here. I know what you're thinking. Everyone says do past papers, but here's the difference. Most students do it wrong. Most students do a past paper, check the mark scheme, and then move on hoping that they will just suddenly get better. This is why they get stuck at grade seven or grade eight. But, but grade nine students, what makes them special? They do past papers strategically. Here's how. You need to do the past paper under timed conditions. You wanna simulate the real exam. So when you get in, into the exam hall, you're not just sitting there saying, how long do I have left? How long do I have left? You need to mark it yourself. Use the official mark scheme. And don't just check it, right? Don't just check it. You need to study it. You should memorize the mark scheme word for word. Okay, so once you've done that, now what? You need to redo the same paper in a few weeks time, okay? See whether you improve, see whether you've remembered it. If you haven't, and I agree, you don't just have to use past papers, you need to use other things. You need to make flashcards, you need to make notes, you need to refer back to them. Because right? if you don't do that, you don't understand the content you're writing down. When I was revising, I had done every single past paper pretty much at least twice twice, maybe three times even. By exam day, I could recall every single mark scheme word for word. This is why it works. GCSEs are not a test of intelligence. It's a memory game. Think about it. Examiners don't think when they're marking your papers, right? They get paid like, they get paid like a pound something to, to, to mark your paper. They're not gonna try and infer what you're trying to say. They're gonna be looking at the mark scheme. They're gonna be looking at your answers and if they can't see any correlation between them, you don't get any marks. If your answer looks like the mark scheme, bang, they just give you a tick, they move on. Pretty much everything, in maths, in sciences in particular. Maybe, maybe not so much in, in subjects such as English or history or these essay subjects, but I know I, I use it for geography, I use it for computer science, I use it for all the sciences, all the maths, it's all the same thing. If you're able to speak the mark scheme, you're able to get from a grade seven to a grade nine straight away. And, and here's the thing, GCSEs, GCSEs, they're not unlimited. There's only so many questions you can do. It's not like they can just make another question out of thin air. It's a fixed syllabus. If you do all the past papers they have, pretty much every single question, pretty much all the topics have been asked. You just know all the answers basically. So you just change the answers a tiny bit when it comes to exam day for your new questions. Bang, you got it, I promise you. If you do this, the exam will feel easy. Okay, so you've listened to me. You've heard me talk. What do you do now? First of all, organize your note area. If you do it on OneNote, if you do it somewhere else, I usually do it on OneNote. I collate all my past papers, every single one. It will help you, I trust me. When you come to exam season, you need to access all these past papers. You're like, oh my God, where are they? They're right there. They're all there, you've done. You put the mark on the top, you're done. Do one under exam conditions. Okay, just do it. One every day, even if you're two months away, if you're two weeks away, if you're two years away, just start doing some past papers. Do one, do two. If you're getting close, I would do three a day, pretty much. Mark it yourself. Don't rely on teachers. You need to know the mark scheme. If you don't know the mark scheme, how are you gonna write down what the mark scheme says? Fairly intuitive. Then write down every mistake and why you went wrong. Is it you don't understand what you're meant to do? Is it more like you didn't know how to phrase it? Then just write down, okay, I didn't know how to phrase it. You need to go analyze the mark scheme, bring it back and then write it down. Rinse and repeat. If you do this, your grade will go up. Remember, the sooner the better. Start now, start straight after this video. If you're in bed, if you're not that tired, get up, go do a question. 
these grades you get are determined by you. It's not me, I'm not doing your GCSEs for you. It's all about you. If you do the work, you will get it. And think about it, it's only two months. Two months of hard work. What well, even one month for some of you, one month of hard work. And it all pays off. You go to the uni you want to go, you get the great job you want to go, you make your friends, family really proud of you. Just think about that. That's your motivation. If this video helped you, I hope you can share it with a friend and possibly leave a comment about what subject you're studying so I can give you some more subject specific tips. And if you want more grade nine study hat, make sure you subscribe because I have way more coming your way. Good luck with your GCSEs. You've got this.